Hello, my name is Mike, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Mode. Today we are trying to head back west. Oh, hello, Super Mutant Hounds. I'm gonna just sprint in this direction. Oh, God. Anyway, yes, we're trying to make our way back to Sanctuary today. I've tried to do this a co Oh, hello, Deathclaw. Oh, we're off to a great start. Uh, I'm just going to sprint, 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 and, uh, yes, just get away from all of these enemies quickly. Yes, as I was saying, now that I've evaded all these enemies, we're heading west today. We're heading back to Sanctuary. I've tried to make this journey before, but I kept getting sidetracked, but not today. Today we're going back to Sanctuary, and we're going to explore some of the areas to the south. Some wild dogs over there, just go around them. I'm a little low on ammunition right now, but I picked up some better weaponry and some ammunition for it, but I've killed so many enemies recently that I just really don't have the ability to engage in unnecessary firefights. So I'm going to try and circumvent most of these enemies by sticking to the northern areas of the map. I've cleared out a lot of the northern areas of Fallout 4. So I, as long as I stick to the high ground, the northern roads, I should be fine. I would like to explore the areas a little bit south of here, but I'll, that'll have to wait for another time. I've got some other things I want to do today. First things first, I need to make my way back to Sanctuary. Hopefully not in, Oh, there's a behemoth on the road. I can see a behemoth over there. And, um, he hasn't noticed me yet, but he's coming this way. All right, I'm going to head even more north to go around this guy. Or a dust storm could roll in. That works, too. Just cover my tracks. I don't want to fight that super mutant behemoth. So, I'm finding a lot of high-level enemies right now, and I'm just going to try and go all the way around all of them. Map is telling me I'm in some area I haven't been in before. I think there might be something around here. I think I see a shadowy figure off here in the distance. Might be friendly. Might be hostile. Hello. Please be friendly. Yes, hello, settler. Please. I'm so thirsty. Could you spare any water? I have... I suppose I can spare one of my purified waters. I stocked up before I left. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, have a good day, Settler. I don't know what you're doing out here in the middle of nowhere, but you might want to get someplace safer. I'm just going to follow this road around and see where it takes me. Is there a building up here? It looks like there might be. Recon Bunker Theta. Okay, is it clear or is it empty? This is a, this is a real thick dust storm that just got kicked up. This one requires a key. Can't go in. All right, see you later, I guess. Honestly, I probably shouldn't be traveling right now. It's very early in the morning. The sun hasn't risen yet, so it's already very difficult to see. And this dust storm is making it even more difficult to see. But if it's difficult for me to see enemies, it'll probably be difficult for the enemies to see me. So this might actually be the best time to travel. So I'm going to try and... I think that's... Yeah, I think the... I, I see the outline of the Galleria. That's the giant Mr. Handy statue over there. So we're making... Oh, God! No! Blood Widow... Blood frog. All right, just going around these enemies. Just going around them. I'm. I think I'm still going in the right direction. Finding a lot of glowing animals. Honestly, a lot more glowing animals. I'm starting to see like uh, yagwais and death claws. Uh, ooh. I, I think I've been through here before. This should be fine. I think I've cleared this place out. So there's nothing good for me. Uh, yeah, 15 bullets. That 15 shells of the shotgun. I could sleep here. I am a little injured, but I'm just going to keep moving. I don't think I'm too far off from my goal. Yes, I've been here before. I remember I stayed here for a night or two. And, yep, I've definitely been here before. This is a little rest area I set up for myself a while ago, but there's no one here because I don't have the equipment to set up a defensive turret or a recruitment beacon or anything. So right now, it's just kind of a little home in the middle of nowhere. I've got a bed, fresh water, and a cooking station, so... If I was weak or thirsty, I could resupply here, but I'm pretty good for now. I think I have prepared for this journey pretty well, and I'm just going to keep going west. I found some Minutemen. I found some Minutemen, and I found some Raiders. As the sun starts to rise, the things are getting a little difficult to see. Oh no, that Minuteman died! Alright, let's try and defend these guys. Uh, yeah, well, these are forged. These aren't just regular Raiders. These are forged Raiders. Try and back off, and I get hit by fire. Yeah, I don't want that to happen to me. All right, he's dead. This forged traitor is dead. I didn't really help. I just kind of let the Minutemen take care of it. I tried, though. I tried to flank him with my terrible Institute rifle gun thing that I found. This is kind of like a shotgun, isn't it? It's not... I thought this was more of a rifle, but it's more of a shotgun. I've got to get up close with it. That's fine. Good job. Good job, team. Sorry your friend died. This is thick of evacuations. 
This is one of the earliest areas of the game. But all the water is gone. Uh, really? I didn't realize that was a thing. Can I talk to what's-his-face, the guy who was in charge of this place? Or did somebody come by and kill him and take over? Because that would be the thing I would expect to happen in Fallout 3. He finally gets his place up and running and then someone comes by and caps him and takes it for themselves. Hey look, it's a Raider Psycho. Yep. Yep, it's uh... This place has been taken up. Ooh. Yeah, this this is... They didn't have Myrler penned up last time I was here. Hey, 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 hey! Jerk, do you mind? This is the place I'm thinking about, right? There's a guy named Sully here. And he wants me to flip three valves, and then I flip the switch and a bunch of Mylarks pop out of the ground. That's this place, right? I'm pretty sure that's Thicket Evacuations, or whatever this place is called. I think these raiders have come by and probably killed Sully, it's my guess. Ugh, sadly. It looks like a mist has started to pour in. I can still probably snipe for a while, but not as accurately because I can't really see what I'm doing. Yes, it's going to be very difficult, especially with this... Night vision scope on, amplifying the light. Oh, we have a legendary raider here. That's not great. And now she's dead. Or he. Whatever. I think that might be the last raider in the nearby area. Maybe someone in that building over there. Let's see, what did you have? Anything good? Where'd your dumb body go? Here's part of it. Nope, that's the raider survivalist. One of the very min- ah, There are so many enemies around here I had to kill. Here is your corpse. Acrobat, leather right leg. Reduced falling damage. Nah, not that great. Not sure why all these raider encampments have Mirelurks. Like, what's the point? What's the point of having these Mirelurks caged up? They're so difficult. Are you trying to domesticate them? Pro probably not going to try and domesticate them, but... I really... You got them corralled off. Maybe you're trying to grow them? That seems like a really dangerous idea. They're not a very docile creature, these Mirelurks. But I think I'm done. I didn't find anything... Anything about Sully, I didn't find his body, I didn't find him being held prisoner. I can only assume these raiders killed him. They killed him and moved right in, like they own the place. Hey! I found a synth encampment! How you guys doing? You cooking up something? You hungry? Legendary synth assaulter? Who probably killed these guys? Just some random scavengers, okay? Well... It's a shame you had to kill these guys. I don't know what they did to you, but I guess I'll take their leathers. I doubt you guys mind. It's not like you even wear clothes. Let me guess. You guys were just trying to mind your own business, walk along, and then these guys just started shouting at you, Ah, oh, it's a synth, and they opened fire, and you just had to kill them. You, you didn't have a choice. They were hostile, and you had to retaliate. That's what I'm assuming happened here, because... What other option could there be? You randomly assaulted a bunch of civilians? Oh, perish the thought. I don't think you'd have it in you. I'm getting pretty close to Concord now. I'm getting pretty close to the abandoned city where I first met Preston Garvey. But on my way there, I found this tiny little shack. It's so well hidden, I, I'm surprised. I'm very surprised it's out here. There's no bed or anything in here. It's just a broken toilet and that's about it. But there was a first aid box with a... with, with a... Bunch of stuff in there, a stim pack, antibiotics, rad X, rado, it's just, it was a great, great find, so... I don't know if that's randomly generated, it probably is, but I'm really glad I found that. I'm, I'm not desperate for antibiotics, but I do find myself using them from time to time, and if I, if I run out of antibiotics, and I get an illness, it's just going to really make things a lot more difficult for me. It's going to really restrict my movement, because I'm going to need some place to just go home and recover. A couple of dead settlers out here. I wonder if the synths killed these guys too. Yeah. A couple of dead settlers. Uh, Stimpak and Rataway. Okay. Well, this area outside Concord has a couple of corpses. I think I was actually here and talked to that guy. He was alive last time I was here, but he's dead now. Not sure who done him in. Could be anything, really. Wild bears, wild everything that's not bears. There's just so many possibilities. I can't lift, I cannot list them off. So I'm just going to make my way back to Sanctuary. It's not too far now. Past Concord. And we are back to Sanctuary. Here's the bridge. Did some enemies. Oh. Preston Garvey is fighting some super mutants today. As he normally does. Alright, we'll help him out a little bit. Take him down, Preston. Good job, man. Good job. You did, you did very well. You barely needed my help. How's it going? Sorry. 
Don't let your guard down. Ah, you don't, you don't have to tell me. I know. By the way, I did that quest for you a long, long time ago. I helped out a farm. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Sounds It'll useful. It'll more, more useful as we get more allied settlements. Eventually, you'll have help wherever you need it. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. I think you can step up, Preston. You've been standing here in the river killing super mutants for a long, long time. I think you can do it. That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. But I hate the Commonwealth. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way. General. No, you won't, because then I don't get my Lone Wanderer perks. Sanctuary is now open for business, and by that I mean I have a nice defensive perimeter. I built up a lot of walls, a lot of water pumps, a lot of defensive turrets, so nothing's going to get by these turrets. And I've got a recruitment beacon, and a little bit of electricity, and a bunch of beds. Hey, I already got a newcomer, huh? Nice to meet you. How are you? This town is already really starting to grow, and a bunch of Minutemen have shown up too. To help defend the town, I'm sure. Yes, welcome to our new beautiful town. If you're thirsty, go ahead, drink from the pumps. They're free to use, and the, the water is very refreshing, if I do say so myself. Now that this place is up and running again, I'm going to start making my way south. South to sun, su Sunset Tidings Co-op, because there are a bunch of quests to the south, and I'm pretty sure that Sunset is going to be a great base of operations. I've used that quite a few times as my base of operations before. So that's where I'm going to head. I'm going to do some weapons crafting and some armor crafting first, Things now that I have an armor bench over here. All right, I improved some of my weapons. I'm not carrying a whole lot with me right now. I've just got two weapons, a sniper rifle and an assault rifle. I've got a bunch of ammunition for them, so I think these two weapons are gonna carry me pretty far. I think I'll pick up maybe a few more weapons on my journey to the south. I also did some armor crafting. I got a really nice shoulder pad right now. A nice shadowed shoulder pad. Looks really intimidating. I like this black leather armor. Unfortunately, I don't have enough adhesive to improve the rest of my armor. So, I, again, the one resource I'm always low on is adhesive. So, wonder glue, duct tape, any of that stuff that I can find, definitely keep an eye out for that. Now that we have made our way to the north western corner of the map. We are here in Sanctuary. We've set up a lot of things here in Sanctuary. It's pretty decked out, but now we're going to make our way past Concord, past Gorski Cabin, and there. I want to make my way to Belcher's Cave today, trying to investigate an SOS signal I heard quite a long time ago. Someone sounded like they were in dire straits. If that's a time-sensitive mission, they're probably dead, but if not, I might be able to go out and help whoever's over here. Of course, Concord is always a dangerous place. That's uh, probably a... Uh, what do you call those guys? Oh yes, Child of Adam. That's what those are, yes. Those are Children of the Adam fighting bugs, so I'm not going to be able to scavenge that battlefield. Concord is always a very, very dangerous place, so I probably should have gone around it, but I'm just going to go through it as quickly as I can. I think this might be Trash Can Carla. Hello, Trash Can Carla. It has... Boy, normally I see you in the early, early game, but I guess you're here today. Took me long enough to find you. How are you doing? So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? No, no, I know where Diamond City is. Your money, all of it. <laughs> I didn't realize mugging her was an option. No, I'm just looking for love, sweetie. <laughs> Boy, have you come to the wrong place. My loving days have long since passed. But I'll tell you what, wise ass. You made an old girl smile. Uh, we're being attacked. Hold on a second. Just hold that thought. Hold that thought. Also kill that dog. There. Uh, were those the Children of the Atom? Nope, those are separate. Those are raiders. Ow, ow. Okay, I think I got him. I think that was the only one. Well, that was rude. Oh, and you're, you're injured. All right, well, get up. Stop being injured. Yeah. Anyway, as we were saying... Back again? Time to do business? I can't believe that raider interrupted me while I was flirting with you. Some people just, they just can't help but cock block others. Now let's see what you got. Plenty of ammunition. Ooh, you've got a lot of stuff. You've got a lot of stuff, actually. Hold on. 
Duct tape, I will take that. I've, I should probably restrict myself. I don't have a whole lot of caps, but anything you have that has adhesive, that's what I want. I'm looking for adhesive. You don't, you don't have a shipment of adhesive. I don't blame you. It's a very, very rare commodity. Okay, nice doing business with you. See you later, trash can, Carla. Have fun selling stuff. We had a deal, Trudy. Ah, uh, the diner. Hand over the goods. You owe us. Yes. You poison shilling chem pushers, These two raiders trying to harass a woman. Not a problem. Hey, how's it going? I couldn't help but notice you were being harassed by those two thugs. They're dead now. <laughs> I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. You got any adhesive? I love adhesive. All salvage, but nothing's junk. Two more duct tapes. I'll take it. Thank you for the duct tape. I wish you had more, but I'll take what I can get. I'm not going to steal your stem pack or your purified water. That's yours. See you later. Have I been here before? Is this Gorski Cabin? Gorski Cabin's probably somewhere around here. No, this is something different, I think. Just an empty, abandoned house. With a dead rat scorpion. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, hi, wild albino mongrel. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. By that, I'm being sarcastic. I'm taking that kneecapper pool cue you have on you. What a worthless weapon that is. All right, so I guess you attacked and killed these raiders. That would be my guess. That's, that's why all these raiders in here are dead. Or maybe it's because they got attacked by a giant rad scorpion. That is also a distinct possibility. Yeah, so we just have a couple of homes here on the road. And a couple of uh, trucks, it looks like. Derailed train. I'm just going to make my way around here. Don't see any hostile enemies at the moment, but I've got plenty of ammunition if I do find any. Ooh, wicked shipping trailer key was used on this. A bunch of ammunition. Good, good. And I think that is actually it. Yep. Yep, that's it. So this train here, this derailed train, I've passed by here a few times, and I saw this power armor over here. It doesn't look especially useful, but it's a standard T-45, and most of its parts are in good condition. So I'm just going to hop in here. I'm not much for power armor, especially when it's not that great, but I'm going to take the frame and this low-level equipment, this low-level armor, and I'm just going to bring this to Sunset Tidings Co-op with me as well. You never know when a suit of power armor will come in handy, so this will be useful, I think. Alright, we are now here, back at the Tidings Co-op, and it looks like some people have shown up, because before I left, I did activate a recruitment beacon, and I left a bunch of resources so people could settle right on in, so... It looks like this cozy little home here has a couple of residents. How are you? I don't think we've met. What can I do to help out? I uh, just... I guess you could do some farming, I suppose. Just tend to the garden. Go ahead and help out. This settlement is now in top quality condition, I think. I've built a bunch of turrets, a bunch more water pumps, I built a few more beds, planted a few more crops. So all of your needs should be satisfied. This tidings co-op, it's really a testament to humanity is what it is. It just shows that we could bounce back using our ingenuity, specifically mine. I have the ability to level up on level 26 already, so I'm, I'm shooting up pretty quickly before I even make it into the big city. I'm going to invest it into the gun nut mod, so I get rank three gun mods. So the next time I'm back in Sanctuary, or next time I find a weapon bench I can actually use, maybe I'll be able to make a few more interesting gun modifications. But for now, we're here in Sunshine Tidings Co-op, and now we're going to go all the way down here to Belcher's Cave. Not too far, just past the chapel. Yeah, that should be a pretty easy thing to take care of. Here we are, Belcher's Cave. Oh, I'm ravenous from a lack of food. Let me just eat something really quick. All right. Belcher's Cave, here we are. Gonna head right in and see what's the issue. Someone radioed an SOS signal a while ago. They were requesting help, so maybe we'll be able to help them. I'm really curious as to what this quest is. Also, this is a guy here. There's, I'm pretty sure the voice I heard in the SOS was distinctly female. So, uh, is she dead already? Did you kill her or are you related to her? Part of a group? Did you hear the call on the radio? We better hurry up if we're gonna save her. I did hear her. Who are you? I think I heard screams coming from this direction. All right, your name is Dutch. I, you might be hostile. Be far now. All right, I'll help you out for now, Dutch. I have a feeling you're gonna be the, like betray me or something. And another dumb shit scabber walks right into our <laughs> trap. X, tell him what he's won. What did Let's I win? Trip to the dungeon, boss. Well, the dungeon. Hasty. Not every winner wants to spend the rest of their life pissing in a bucket. 
Maybe this one wants what's in the mystery box. Maybe Ooh. he wants to join us. You've caught my interest. Let's talk. It's not that complicated. You're either with us and you live, or you're against us and you die. Uh, then I'm with you, I suppose. Who are you? I'm a killer, plain and simple. Doesn't matter who I was before. All you need to know is who I am now. The person you'll have to answer to if you fuck up. So do us all a favor, and don't. <laughs> uh, sure. I would normally be hesitant to join raiders, but you seem like an interesting group of people, and if my other option is being killed, then yes, I will join you. Needless to say, we aren't your ordinary raider crew. That's because we don't go after the trash can Carlas and their saggy tit Brahmins. We don't cut off a pair of hands if we can put them to work, and we don't shoot a scav if he's willing to follow orders. Well, you're already a step up from just about everyone else around here. But I've been backstabbed so many times. In fact, you've already lied to me once, so our relationship is not off on the best footing here. Because outside of that radio con, I've been straight with you. Make no mistake, we're killers, but only if you're useless. Yes, outside of the radio con, which is, you, which is pretty much the only thing I know about you. But you've caught my ear, you've got my interest. I agree to help you with whatever it is, provided I don't have to kill anyone innocent. Ready to get in the game, huh? Good. It just so happens we've got an itch that needs scratching. Goes by the name of Cain. I'll mark the location on your map where he was last seen. Take care of him, and you're officially one of us. Oh, all I have to do is kill somebody and I'm in. So, just like Jake, huh? I'm gonna be just like Jake, going, joining this group of raiders. Sounds fun. Hey. Sorry about the whole trick in you bit. The name's Dutch. Pleased to meet you. Yes. I'll save some gear if you need it. I was a caravaner in another life after all. You guys ever thought about doing something besides raiding? Because, you know, there are a lot of other professions. I'm not saying farming is glamorous, but it's honest living. And if you can eke out a living, it's good work. I need adhesive. Do you have any adhesive? You do not. Never mind. You got stim packs, but I'm not low on stim packs right now, I don't think. So, Dutch, how did you end up here? I got suckered in, same as you. I can laugh about it now because I enjoy being part of this crew. Sure, they've got their rough edges, but the boss helps smooth those out. Provided they survive the process. Interesting. I, He's a terrible leader. I've only met him for about 20 seconds, so I really can't comment on that right now. He is kind of an asshole. It's not easy being a leader. That's just a general statement. That's true. Uh, true. It's not easy being a raider, period. But it beats being roadkill. There was this one recruit way back who couldn't shoot straight. Uh, too many nerves. If it was me, I would have given him some chems to calm him down. But chems cost money. So the boss took a hammer and smashed one of his toes every time he missed a shot. No, it didn't help his aim. <laughs> but I got the whole crew serious about improving theirs. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Spoken like a true raider. Uh, so, what is this place? You've got Stash here on the very far west side of the map. What is this place, anyway? You mean before the war? I'm not sure. Some kind of bunker, I think. But whatever it is, it's home now. Alright, Dutch. Uh, that's all for now. Hopefully you and I never have to... Engage in a fight, you being a raider and me being uh, historically known for murdering raiders right in their dumb faces. Don't be a stranger. Yes, this is definitely raider territory. Really not sure how I feel about joining these guys. Although, I feel like this is uh, fan content. This is modded content. I don't think this is part of the base game. But this is what definitely should have been in the base game. Enemies that are probably enemies, but they don't shoot you on sight. They've got interesting dialogues and interesting way of looking on Who are you? Bad X. That's quite the name you have there, Bad X. I break bitches like bottles. I crush punks like tin cans. I'm a mean, lean, ass-kicking machine, and you don't want to fuck with me. No, I do not. All right. Pleasure to meet you, Bad X. I will not cross your path. Pardon me while I cross your you path. take care of Kane yet? Spitball. The itch I got says no. I'll go kill Kane in a second. First, I want to meet your crew. A crew is no different than a gun. You spray enough bullets... And pretty soon, you gotta reload. Oh, so they're disposable to you? Is that what you're saying? Have the Minutemen been a problem to you? Because I'm more heavily allied with them than anybody else. Not at all. 
Those dumb shits are the best thing that could have ever happened to us. They kill off rival gangs, check. They got plenty of deserters who want to join up, double check. And they're spread out so thin, they'll never hold the Commonwealth for long. I don't know if I agree with that statement, but I can, I can definitely see why you would think that. Alright, thank you for the information, and also thank you for not shooting me on sight. You're quite the interesting character. Remember, we're at fucking war, New Blood, and wars are won with numbers. Right now, that's all you are, a plus one. You take care of Kane, and we add another slash to our tally. Get enough bars, and you get respect. Hell, pass me, and I might even give you my chair. Oh, I feel so valued being part of your crew, Black Eye Bobby. I'll go take care of Kane in a second. Now, I, I, wait, I was gonna go... Where'd this person go? I wanted to talk to this woman. I, I think she might have been the person on the radio. You talked my ear off, Bobby. You talked it's my ear off, and now I gotta go hunt down somebody. The itch I got says no. B besides Kane, yes, I know. I'll hunt down Kane in a second. Oh, you got a dog. has got it in for Kane. Not sure why, but as long as I'm in the clear, who cares? <laughs> Spitball seems like an interesting character. And Chops. Yes, good boy, Chops. Your mouth is covered in blood, and you've got dog armor on. I have a feeling you've killed your share of innocent people. If anyone asks, we don't know each other. We don't know each other. That's why I'm trying to talk to you. There was one girl who came in here and was real tough, but the problem was she also liked dancing. She kept trying to teach everyone to do the cha-cha, so the boss cut off her toes, then her head. <laughs> Said she was bad for morale. Trust me, you don't want to be her. What is it with your boss and foot mutilation? Foots are... Foots are very valuable parts of the body. Without feet, we can't walk around and run around and do a bunch of raiding. It's like your boss doesn't really respect the beauty that is feet. It's just... It's just saddening, really. It makes me very sad that some people don't appreciate feet. Oh, here we go. Here's the rest of the crew in the back room. Got a bit of a cage fight going on. There's Bad X, I think. Hello, Bad X. I eat maggots like you for breakfast. Oh, oh. You better hope it ain't morning. <laughs> Ah, oh, you're you're a pretty witty guy, Bad X. I don't want to cross your path. Oh, you got boxing gloves on. What, are you afraid to kill each other? Come on, take them off and start breaking some bones. Yeah, pretty interesting location back here. Honestly, this is some pretty interesting fan content. Can I talk to the hey, barkeep? new guy. I know you put on that show for the boss, but I gotta ask. How do you really feel about Raiders? Any uh problems with how we do things? In general, I have a... Fairly negative opinion of raiders, but I'm always open to new experiences. Yeah, that's a thing. We want raiders dead, which might sound good, but raiders a family, which might sound bad. Point is, we're fucking nutty, and you must be too if you want to join us. I just didn't want to die. My options were join or die, and I picked the option that didn't result in me dying. I suppose I do enjoy violence from time to time. I'm getting pretty good at it, if nothing else. Ha, <laughs> good answer, Rook. If violence is your thing, we definitely will. It would be nice to know more about you. You're probably wondering about the name. Gang calls me Gran on account of being the oldest one here. Thought it was funny, so I kept it. Huh. But I plan on growing into the name. Just give me some skull sweaters to knit and a spiked rocking chair to match and I'll be good. Okay, yeah. Uh, living long is not usually what happens to raiders, but if this group is as tight as I've heard, maybe it will. Kane is a tough test, especially for a rook. The boss must really like you. Okay, um, I wonder why Kane is going to be a tough test. Are you guys sending me out on a suicide mission? Am I about to get killed? I am really happy to meet some raiders that aren't necessarily, they are kind of hostile, pardon me. Yeah, they're not exactly the best people, but this is, this is pretty cool. This is some pretty interesting content, and I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go, if Kane attacks me on sight, I'll put him down, and if he's not hostile on sight, I will be interested in what he has to say. So, be right back after I've killed Kane, maybe. Where is Kane, anyway? He's right outside the Federal Ration Stockpile, about five minutes to my northeast. Okay, that makes things easy. I'm glad I don't have to travel somewhere obscene. I'm going to take care of the Federal Ration Stockpile is cleared, so I'll take care of Kane. He shouldn't be too far away. I'm a little famished right now, a little very hungry, so I'm going to need to eat soon. So I might stop by. That's not really too much of a concern. I'm not too far away from my location, my home base, the Tidings Co-op. Is Kane around here, or is this somebody else's little shelter over here? Oh, hi, Meyerlurk. No, you, you can go ahead and stay underground. It's fine. 
I should be concerned, but it's very difficult for them to detect me. Looks like there's some caps here. 15 bottle caps and a bobby pin. All right. Yes, with so many points put into the stealth tree, so many points invested into being sneaky, and also my custom armor, which also gives me bonuses to stealth, it's very difficult, very difficult for me to be spotted. As long as I'm not too stupid about it, I'll be able to get out of most fights from now on. Oh, Kane is actually inside the federal ration stockpile. All right. I've been here before, cleared it out. I think Red Tourette was the head raider that was here. Killed her and took everything that was in here. I think there was just a bunch of food in here, so it was a pretty disappointing haul. But okay, I guess Kane has moved in, and we're going to go find him somewhere in here. Last time I was here, I didn't have a need for any of this food, but I'm pretty famished right now, so this old macaroni and cheese, ugh, six rads, ugh. It's a little irradiated, but I'll take it. I'm, I'm pretty good on radiation. I have almost no radiation, so I'll eat a couple of these old food stuffs to cure my hunger. It'll be fine. I can take a little bit of radiation. I feel better, but still a little famished. Well, why don't we eat all of this old macaroni and cheese? Eat all of the macaroni and cheese! Ugh, it's so irradiated. But I'm good now. I'm properly fed. All right, let's figure out where Kane is. I found him. Pretty sure I found him, and he's not shooting me on sight, so let's talk, Kane. <laughs> Kane, you're a ghoul. You're locked behind this door. You must be here for the boss. Question is, whose? Uh, maybe it's none of your business. I'm here to find you. I was sent here to kill you. Give me a reason why I shouldn't. If it's Bobby who sent you, I wouldn't be so sure. But all you know are lies. Really? Lies? Please elaborate on that. Doesn't matter. You've been given a job. You decide how it's done. Okay, if you say so, I, I'm probably just going to kill you unless you have any other suggestions. Take me back to your boss. Not as a trophy, but as a man. Let him render my verdict. Granted, there's risk involved. I could kill you. I could run. But when you make your choice, the question isn't whether you should trust me. A stranger doesn't deserve that. The question is... If I try to escape, whether you trust yourself to stop me, if so, there's no reason not to take me alive. Yes. Oh, that seems like such a difficult decision. How could I make this choice? I'm supposed to be more dramatic. Uh, dramatic death! There we go. I have killed Cain. It sounded like Cain was trying to confuse me, trying to make me think things that may or may not have been true. I don't know. He kind of spoke in riddles. And it sounded like, maybe I was inferring the wrong thing, but it sounded like he might have tried to make a break and he was calling me a coward because he didn't think I'd have the balls to kill him if he did try and run away. So I killed him and that just solved that problem. I, I'm not feeling 100% confident about what I just did, but what's done is done. Let's return to Black Eye Bobby and let him know that we have killed Kane. Hope that wasn't too much of a hassling deal with Kane. Welcome to the team. Thank you, Dutch. That's all for now. In this game, you've got to be useful. You don't put in more than you take, and you're me. I can respect that. Yes, from a survival point of view, it makes sense. You have to contribute. Uh, I guess I'm in the gang. Where's Black Eye Bobby? Probably watching the fights. He seems like the kind of guy who would be into those fights. Jesus! Just let me live! Ooh. I could, but the thing is, Switch, you're like a champion racehorse. And you know what they did to racehorses when they broke a leg? They shot them dead. Which was actually the nice thing to do. Think about that. It was actually more humane to kill the horse than try to fix it. Now, I'm not saying killing you is the humane thing to do, but this much is clear. You were only good for one thing, and now you're fucking obsolete. No! Oh no, there goes Switch! Oh no! Wow. So you're back, and I heard you took care of my baby brother. That's not actually what I meant by taking care of him. Uh, pardon me? Turns out you're no different than these other shit skulls. A killer. But, if you're that tough, maybe it was worth the risk. Uh, you wanted me to kill- So you, so you didn't want me to kill him because he was your brother. Either of you could have mentioned either of those things. I didn't lie. I asked you to take care of him. 
What that meant was up to you. Now, did I fuck with your head? Sure. But I needed to know what you'd do when that trigger finger of yours got an itch. Anyways, here, your reward. It's a little boomstick I got from my pal Zinx. Packs a real punch. Just make sure you know who you're hitting. Uh-huh. Okay, well I guess... Well... Uh... It's this guy. I don't know what to make of this guy. <laughs> Here's a list of things you don't want to do. One, piss me off. The end. Okay. So... Switch. This dead woman here that Bobby just killed. Uh, yeah. Seemed like that was unnecessary. It seemed like she was still a pretty good fighter, but I guess I don't know enough about the internal politics of this place to dispute that or not. Okay, so Black Eye Bobby just had me kill his brother. He didn't say kill directly, but it was implied. And then I did. And I guess his little brother was expecting that to happen, so... Okay. All right, you weirdos. I've done your quest, and I think I'm done here for now, unless Bobby's got something else for me to do. How's it going, Gran? Someone's been eating my food. I mocked it with an X and put it in the fridge. When I find him, I'm gonna rip his guts out through his asshole. <laughs> uh, looks like those same problems are still here, even in post-apocalyptia. People are still eating everyone else's lunchroom lunches. Just... This is kind of amusing. It's kind of like a mix of corporate bureaucracy mixed in with a bunch of psychotic idiots. There's a jail cell back here with a bunch of corpses. One of them is a minute man, so... Oh, one of them is a child of Adam, so they're not too bad. Well, killing minute men is bad, but killing children of Adam is good. Dead ghoul may or may not be good. Yeah, traitor. These guys probably were not hostile, so... Even though... That guy made it seem like I was the bad guy. I still have a feeling that he might be more devious and more dastardly than I am. Want to arm wrestle? I'm up for it. But first, you gotta pick which arm you want to lose. Bad X, yes. He seems to be a charismatic sort in his own unique way. Not necessarily friendly, but boy, he sure likes to grandstand a lot, doesn't he? He definitely thinks highly of himself. So anyway, Black Eye Bobby. You took care of Red Tourette. Nice. Here's a bonus. Yes, I did. A long, long time ago. Thank you for acknowledging that. Do you have any other work? Perhaps something a little less vague this time? We're low on junk, so we're gonna have to rough up some chem dealers to make up the difference. You're gonna need a disguise, though. For good neighbor, just pick up one of the masks off of the corpses we leave in the cells. Diamond City's a little trickier. You're gonna need a guard uniform, which means you'll have to find one. I'll leave that up to you. Uh, Making it look like a typical Diamond City shakedown is the only way this doesn't come back to bite us. I don't know if I want my first impression on both of those cities to be me uh, causing chaos, sticking up Solomon and pretending to be a guard. Yeah. All right. I've done a quest for Bobby, and maybe if I were an evil character, I might do a few more of his quests. Maybe I'll come back later and do this for him, but for now, I think we're done. I'm just gonna go back to... I'm gonna go back to the Tidings Co-op and just rest up there. Well, that was an interesting bit of content. A bit of evil content, and... Lord knows, there is not nearly enough of that in this game. This is all very one-way stuff. There's only one way to do things, and it's the good way. So the fact that there are evil quest lines now, thanks to mods, is definitely a welcome change of pace. I don't know if I want to do that one, Especially not since I haven't actually gone into any of those cities yet. And I don't want to go in there and just start shooting the place up or causing a lot of trouble. So maybe we'll do this quest, but I'm just going to... I'm just going to leave it alone for now. Leave well enough alone. We killed his brother, so we killed a raider who may or may not have deserved it. And that's good enough for me. Maybe we'll come back and do this later some other time. For now, I'm just going to rest up, eat up, drink up, and I'm going to wait until morning, and then we're going to check out some of the other locations on our map. Until next time, my name is Mike, and this has been Fallout 4 Survival. Thank you for joining me.